Hi folks, today we're looking at fitting the Remo multi-rail to the T6 van. This rail will fit the T5 or the T6 van and it is slightly pre-bent to make that job easier, to make it fit the slight curve of the van. The rail does three main jobs. It's got a channel for a K-door strip to slide in to attach an awning to your van. It's also got this gutter on top which serves two purposes. If you have a pop top roof it'll catch the rainwater that comes off and funnel it off to the front of the van or the other way of attaching an awning is if you have a steel pole that goes through a sleeve you can clamp it on here as well. So this rail basically we've got to fit above the windows all the way along the side of the van. To do that you will need your rail which comes with the kit. In the kit we have a set of instructions. Now these are in German but there are some small photographs which do help. Uh, you've got some screws. This is the rubber profile that channels the rainwater down onto the windscreen and this is the little end cap for the back of the rail. And then you've got a little alcohol wipe uh, which you just clean the paintwork with before you stick these onto your van. The rail itself needs to be glued and screwed. So the screws are included. You'll also need to get hold of some vehicle bonding agent. At Kiravans we sell this Sikaflex 252 and a bottle of primer as well. You don't need very many tools to do this job. A bit of panel degreaser just for cleaning off any oily residues or polish before you start. Um, some blue roll, a drill screwdriver, um, some drill bits. I'm going to try and do this on my own today because I know a lot of you might be doing this on your own so we'll, we'll try it with some masking tape and see if we can make it work. I've also got a marker pen and a screwdriver. So we'll take a wander over to the van now and see how we get on. Okay so as with any of these jobs where we're trying to bond something to our vehicle it's always worth starting off making sure you've got a completely clean and grease free surface so I'm using some panel wipe here to get rid of any oily residue or any polish that may be on the van. You can use your alcohol wipe for that as well. First, position your end profile. Now this is so that you can mark the end of your metal rail. So you want the very nose of it just overhanging your pillar there. And then put a small marker pen mark on the van paintwork. And this is going to be the front of your actual aluminium rail. Now to do this on your own, you're going to need to put some masking tape loops up onto the roof of your van and then we're going to offer the van rail up and try and get the very front of it in line with our mark that we've just made and then just hold it temporarily in place with the uh, tape loops. Now in terms of height you probably want it about I don't know 5-10 mil above the um, sliding door bodywork line And then once we've got it held in place like this, I find it best to go for one of the middle holes first. Drill through the bodywork. And then use one of the silver self-tapping screws. Uh, I think my drill bit was a 3 or a 3.2 mil metal cutting bit. And then from there, I tend to go to the front of the van. And basically you want to line the rail up with the, um, with the bodywork line above the sliding door. And I just go along, mark and screw, drill and screw those holes. If you want to, you can mark the holes with a marker pen, then take away the rail, um, use a center punch and um, drill and then screw the holes. So what you're left with is a series of holes along the top of your van like this. <clears throat> if you've got a compressor, blow away any metal filings. If not, um, you could always tape up around the windows to begin with. Now, although the rail is probably grease-free, it's always worth giving it a clean before you put your primer on. Now, this is aluminium. Now, aluminium won't um, rust, but it will start to oxidize over time, which will give you that sort of dusty um, surface to the cut end. So I always think it's worthwhile just uh, putting some primer on there and then go along and put a decent strip of primer right down the middle of the back of the rail where the adhesive is going to go. Give your van another little rub with the alcohol wipe and then because we've um, cut into the bodywork it's always worth putting some primer or rust proofing agent in the holes. 
And then just below the line of holes, I'm going along with my Sikaflex primer again and putting a nice stripe right the way along where the rail is going to sit. I've got a notched nozzle here, probably about a, I don't know, a 10 mil high bead of adhesive going on all the way down the back of this rail and I just put it in the middle. You want enough that it's going to contact the van but not so much that it's going to squirt out everywhere as you put it on. And then because we want to try and waterproof these holes as much as possible, I always put a dab of adhesive in the holes as well. Now the nervy bit, you're going to try and stick your rail onto your van. So try and line up one or two of the holes on the rail with the holes on the van. And then get some masking tape loops to hold it in place while you put your first screw in. At this point you're going to be using the black Torx headed screws. And you can just put them in loosely first and work your way along and then when you get to the end here you'll find your screws will need to pull in quite hard to match the curve of the van. Okay so that's your rail in place. Now we're going to stick on the front plastic profile. So again a bit more degreasing. You can save your alcohol wipe by putting it back in the pack. Take off the backing strip. Now if you want to you can put a bit more adhesive on the end of the metal rail before you stick this on. And again you position it so that the end of it is just going to overhang your windscreen pillar and channel any water down beside the screen. Take off the remaining backing strip and then you just want to press it firmly in place. It's not too hard this bit, the, the profile kind of goes where it wants to go anyway. Press it down hard. And to finish it off, you can put some black sealant or some clear sealant along the top to basically you want to try and avoid any water getting in behind the rail or behind the profile. And then do the same at the back. A bit more degreasing. So on this one, I'm showing you putting on some, uh, some adhesive just on the end of the rail. This will just stop any rainwater dropping down between the rail and the plastic profile. Again, take off your backing strip. And you need to try and get the two pieces butted up really close together at the same time as making it stick to the van. And again, firm pressure and you'll find it goes on quite easily. If you've got any excess adhesive, get it, get it cleaned out. You can use your alcohol wipe and uh, this is the finished article at the back of the van. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. And you'll be able to go ahead now, leave it there for 24 hours before attaching anything to it. And um, it'll be good to go. You can put your awnings on there and um, really enjoy your new addition to your van. Thanks for watching. See you next time.